The question is, if you could dress up as anything for Halloween, what would it be? So our structure for this answer is, if I could dress up as anything for Halloween, I would dress up as, okay, and then you just say what you would dress up as, right? Which means, what would your costume be? So my example is, if I could dress up as anything, I would dress up as a Ghostbuster. If I could dress up as anything, I would dress up as a Ghostbuster. The question is, what fall holiday do you enjoy celebrating the most? So the structure here is, the fall holiday I enjoy celebrating the most would have to be, okay, so we have kind of a long opening to our answer, the fall holiday I enjoy celebrating the most would have to be, would have to be, which means out of all of them, I think it's this one. So the fall holiday I enjoy celebrating the most would have to be, okay, so my example is the fall holiday I enjoy celebrating the most would have to be Thanksgiving. The question is, what is the most frightening thing you have ever seen? What is the most frightening thing you have ever seen? So the structure here is the most frightening thing I have ever seen is probably the time I saw. Then you explain what it was. The most frightening thing I have ever seen is probably the time I saw. Let's click in my example. The most frightening thing I have ever seen is probably the time I saw a car accident and the person flew out of the front windshield. So one more time. The most frightening thing I have ever seen is probably the time I saw a car accident and the person flew out the front windshield. Question is, how long have you been living in your current city? Okay, so how long have you been living in your current city? So the structure for our answer is, I've currently been living in this city for about, so I've currently been living in this city for about, and then you just say the duration or the time frame. It can be weeks, years, months. So my example is, I've currently been living in this city for about three years. I've currently been living in this city for about three years. And we add that word about before the time frame because chances are you don't count exactly how much time. Right? It's kind of a guess. So for about three years. The question is, have you ever celebrated Thanksgiving? Have you ever celebrated Thanksgiving? And our structure is okay, very simple. You don't have to add anything to it. You just pick one version or the other. So it's, I have celebrated Thanksgiving. You have done it. And if you didn't celebrate it or you never have, you're going to say, I have never celebrated Thanksgiving. Okay? And you can make the contraction of I have to I've, if you want. So I've celebrated or I've never celebrated. It's up to you. Okay, so I have celebrated Thanksgiving. I've celebrated Thanksgiving. Or I have never celebrated Thanksgiving. I've never celebrated Thanksgiving. Fall holidays. Vocabulary. Holiday. The holiday season. Vacation. Halloween. Costume. Jack-o'-lantern. Haunted house. Ghost. Witch. Candy. Spiderweb. Skeleton. Spider. Spooky. Creepy. Frightening. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving meal. Stuffing. 
Turkey. Tradition. Thankful. Pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. Black Friday. Indigenous. Verbs. To celebrate. To cook. To discover. To commemorate. To travel. To sail. To find. To know. Phrases. To dress up. To live for something. I'm in. Count me in. To hurry up. To stop by. To lose one's face. Fall holidays. Vocabulary. Holiday. The holiday season. Vacation. Halloween. Costume. Jack o' lantern. Haunted house. Ghost. Witch. Candy. Spider web. Skeleton. Spider. Spooky. Creepy. Frightening. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving meal. Stuffing. Turkey. Tradition. Thankful. Pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. Black Friday. Indigenous. Verbs. To celebrate. To cook. To discover. To commemorate. To travel. To sail. To find. To know. Phrases. To dress up. To live for something. I'm in. Count me in. To hurry up. To stop by. To lose one's face. Halloween. Halloween. Halloween is just around the corner. Do you have a costume? Really? Are you going to dress up and go trick or treating? Isn't that only for kids? Why are you laughing? I dress up every year. I thought since we're together, we could wear matching costumes like those couples on the internet. No way. You won't make me wear one of those Mickey and Minnie Mouse costumes. <laughs> Now this is offensive. Who do you think I am? Every year there is a contest in our campus for the best Halloween costume, and the first place is always mine. Believe me, I am super creative. Is that supposed to make me trust you now, Miss the Best Halloween Campus Costume? Yeah, pretty much. We'll be putting together a haunted house out there, so it's going to be a huge party. Oh, do you want to go there? Definitely. I want you to hang out with my college friends. Will there be drinks and food as well? It seems food and drinks are the only things you care about at parties. I mean, talking and all is great, but I won't mind treating myself to something tasty. Yes, there will be light snacks and drinks. Actually, everyone should bring some snacks decorated for Halloween. Last year, I baked some spooky cookies, which looked exactly like human fingers. Did you win the contest for the scariest Halloween meal, too? No, there is no such contest. But if there were, of course I would win it. Of course, of course. Do you want me to help you out with cooking? Yeah, that'd be great. We'll be one of these power couples who do everything together, like superheroes. Does it mean that you want us to dress up a couple of superheroes? Hmm, yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Just nothing too crazy, please. Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Emmy, what are you doing? I am reading a book about Christopher Columbus. Oh, is it for your history class? Yes, Columbus Day is celebrated on October 12th, so our teacher told us to make a report about the history of this holiday. Oh, how interesting. Tell me. 
Well, it says here this holiday commemorates the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus on October 12, 1942. In many Latin American countries, they have another name for it, Dia de la Raza. Day of the Race? How did you know that? I just remembered that, I guess. So what else did you learn about it? Well, it is a special day for many countries in North, Central, and South America, but for some people, this day represents the invasion of their land by Europeans. You are right. So what are you going to be writing about exactly? I don't know. Could you actually help me out with a plan? Sure. So, first you will write down what we've just discussed. Yep, and then what? How did Christopher Columbus get to America? Oh, I know that, by ship. At that time, many people thought that the world was flat, but Columbus didn't believe that. Yeah, many people thought that if a ship had sailed to the edge of the world, it would fall off and get lost. That's really funny. People didn't have all this technology that we have now, so I can see why some thought that. How did he navigate? By studying the stars and the moon. See, you know everything. Should I mention that some people wanted to be changed to Indigenous Peoples Day? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Hey, Pam, how was your Thanksgiving? Hi, Luke. It was wonderful. I was really happy to spend a few days with my family. Did you go to your parents' house? Yeah, we had our traditional family reunion. My sister came with her family, plus our cousins, so the house was extremely overcrowded and loud. My mother cooked the most delicious turkey and stuffing with cranberry sauce, so we just ate, drank, talked, and had fun. That sounds lovely. What about you? Did you have a nice time? Yes, it was great. My stepbrother and his wife came for the whole weekend. Actually, I think you met a couple of years ago. Do you remember them? Sure, back when they only started dating. It is incredible how time flies. Now they are expecting a baby. This is awesome news. Tell them my best wishes. Thank you. I will tell them for sure. The whole family is so excited, especially our parents. They are already in their late 60s, so they have been dreaming about grandchildren for a long time. No wonder everyone is so happy. So did your father and stepmom come for dinner too? Yes, they stopped by for dinner on Thursday. I cooked a Thanksgiving meal and we had a small family dinner. Did you cook turkey? To be honest, no. I ordered food delivery. I really tried my best to cook it last year, but I failed miserably. So I decided to make it easier for me this time. Thank God my baking skills are much better and the pumpkin pie was perfect. Everyone loved it. Same story here. I am not the best cook, so that's why I love visiting my parents' place for the holidays. I'm just helping out here and there. I have never thought that food delivery works on Thanksgiving. I was surprised about that too. It's funny though. My stepmother liked the turkey so much that she started asking me about the recipe. It was so awkward. I had to look it up and give her the first one I found. <laughs> Hilarious! Didn't you tell anyone that you ordered it? No, of course, I didn't. My stepmother is very conservative. She believes that a woman should be good at cooking, so I didn't want to lose my face. I see now. Well, she doesn't have to know everything, right? Exactly. Full holidays. Vocabulary. Holiday. The holiday season. Vacation. Halloween. Costume. Jack o' lantern. Haunted house. Ghost. Witch. Candy. Spider web. Skeleton. Spider. Spooky. Creepy. Frightening. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving meal.
stuffing, turkey, tradition, thankful, pumpkin, pumpkin pie, Black Friday, indigenous, verbs, to celebrate, to cook, to discover, to commemorate, to travel, to sail, to find, to know, phrases, to dress up, to live for something, I'm in, count me in, to hurry up, to stop by, to lose one's face. Fall holidays. Vocabulary. Holiday. The holiday season. Vacation. Halloween. Costume. Jack o' lantern. Haunted house. Ghost. Witch. Candy. Spider web. Skeleton. Spider. Spooky, creepy, frightening. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving meal, stuffing, turkey, tradition, thankful, pumpkin, pumpkin pie, Black Friday, indigenous, verbs, to celebrate. To cook, to discover, to commemorate, to travel, to sail, to find, to know, phrases, to dress up, to live for something. I'm in, count me in. To hurry up, to stop by, to lose one's face. Halloween. Halloween. Halloween is just around the corner. Do you have a costume? Really? Are you going to dress up and go trick or treating? Isn't that only for kids? Why are you laughing? I dress up every year. I thought since we're together, we could wear matching costumes like those couples on the internet. No way. You won't make me wear one of those Mickey and Minnie Mouse costumes. <laughs> Now this is offensive. Who do you think I am? Every year there is a contest in our campus for the best Halloween costume, and the first place is always mine. Believe me, I'm super creative. Is that supposed to make me trust you now, Ms. The Best Halloween Campus Costume? Yeah, pretty much. We'll be putting together a haunted house out there. So it's going to be a huge party. Oh, do you want to go there? Definitely. I want you to hang out with my college friends. Will there be drinks and food as well? It seems food and drinks are the only things you care about at parties. I mean, talking and all is great, but I won't mind treating myself to something tasty. Yes. There will be light snacks and drinks. Actually, everyone should bring some snacks decorated for Halloween. Last year, I baked some spooky cookies, which looked exactly like human fingers. Did you win the contest for the scariest Halloween meal too? No, there is no such contest. But if there were, of course, I would win it. Of course, of course. Do you want me to help you out with cooking? Yeah, that'd be great. We'll be one of those power couples who do everything together, like superheroes. Does it mean that you want us to dress up a couple of superheroes? Hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Just nothing too crazy, please. Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Emmy, 
What are you doing? I'm reading a book about Christopher Columbus. Oh, is it for your history class? Yes, Columbus Day is celebrated on the 12th of October, so our teacher told us to make a report about the history of this holiday. Oh, how interesting. Tell me. Well, it says here, this holiday commemorates the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus on the 12th of October 1942. In many Latin American countries, they have another name for it. Dia de la Raza. Day of the race. How did you know that? I just remember that, I guess. So what else did you learn about it? Well, it is a special day for many countries in North, Central and South America. But for some people, this day represents the invasion of their land by Europeans. You're right. So what are you going to be writing about exactly? I don't know. Could you help me out with a plan? Sure. So, first, you will write down what we've just discussed. Yeah. And then what? How did Christopher Columbus get to America? Oh, I know that. At that time, many people thought the world was flat, but Columbus didn't believe that. Yeah, many people thought that if a ship had sailed to the edge of the world, it would fall off and get lost. That's really funny. People didn't have all this technology that we have now, so I can see why some thought that. How did he navigate? By studying the stars and the moon. See? You know everything. Should I mention that some people want it to be changed to Indigenous Peoples Day? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Hey, Pam, how was your Thanksgiving? Hi, Luke. It was wonderful. I was really happy to spend a few days with my family. Did you go to your parents' house? Yeah, we had our traditional family reunion. My sister came with her family, plus our cousins, so the house was extremely overcrowded and loud. My mother cooked the most delicious turkey and stuffing with cranberry sauce. So we just ate, drank, talked and had fun. That sounds lovely. What about you? Did you have a nice time? Yes, it was great. My stepbrother and his wife came for the whole weekend. Actually, I think you met a couple of years ago. Do you remember them? Sure, back when they only started dating. <laughs> it's incredible how time flies. Now they're expecting a baby. This is awesome news. Tell them my best wishes. Thank you. I will tell them for sure. The whole family is so excited, especially our parents. They're already in their late 60s, so they've been dreaming about grandchildren for a long time. No wonder everyone is so happy. So did your father and stepmom come for dinner too? Yes, they stopped by for dinner on Thursday. I cooked a Thanksgiving meal and we had a small family dinner. Did you cook turkey? To be honest, no. I ordered food delivery. I really tried my best to cook it last year, but I failed miserably. So I decided to make it easier for me this time. Thank God my baking skills are much better. And the pumpkin pie was perfect. Everyone loved it. Same story here. I'm not the best cook, so that's why I love visiting my parents' place for the holidays. I'm just helping out here and there. I've never thought that food and delivery works on Thanksgiving. I was surprised about that too. It's funny though, my stepmother liked the turkey so much that she started asking me about the recipe. It was so awkward. I had to look it up and give it the first one I found. <laughs> Hilarious. Didn't you tell anyone that you ordered it? No, of course I didn't. My stepmother is very conservative. She believes that a woman should be good at cooking, so I didn't want to lose my face. I see you now. Well, she doesn't have to know everything, right? Exactly.